But uh, speaking of people you shouldn't hear a peep from, this is what I'm talking about. Imagine this scene, ladies and gentlemen. The referee is outside the door of the locker room where they're going to do the coin flip to determine who gets the man advantage in the blood and guts match. And they pitch to this, and the referee says, I'm standing outside the door. And he opens the door and goes in, and there are the Buckaroos, Maddie and Nikki, and Jungle Jack and O'Cody. And they're standing over Christopher Daniels, and he's already laying on the ground selling. And the referee walks up like, well, what, what happened? Oh, he's just taking a nap. So then... They tell him, let's do the coin flip. And the referee's standing there having a conversation. Are you sure we should do it? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, well, we're ordering you to do it. And then the referee said, Chris Daniels is laying at their feet, semi-conscious, if not unconscious. And then Maddie brings out, we got our own coin. Oh, okay. And they flip it. And the referee calls it for them, of course. And then the referee walks off. And then they start talking amongst themselves. Daniels is still laying there like he's in a medically induced coma. On camera. Yeah, what did they do to him? Apparently, they propofol the motherfucker. <laughs> right? What did they? There's no, like, scarring. There's no blood. He's just laying there. You know what? They should have had a goddamn hose and had a spreading pool of blood that people could watch <laughs> get bigger and bigger coming from underneath him. And go, what the goddamn? They puncture the goddamn femoral artery? And they say, well, where's the hangman? Oh, we made a deal. He'll be here. And then they walk off and show the camera that it was a two-headed coin. And apparently Daniels, by that point, had stopped breathing. And what, what, how can you look at that as an adult and say, well, this, this should air. Let's not take this one again. That's magic there, pal. It's everything, uh, it's everything the Bucks touch. Let's not even talk about how ridiculous it looks seeing them and Jack Perry stand there. The least intimidating people on the planet. And Okada, at this point, I think everyone's calling it out. This guy took Tony Khan's money, and he is going to coast and have a nice life while he's here working he is, with Tony Khan. He is on the Foreign Exchange Student Retirement Program. <laughs> That's a good way to look at it. And Christopher Daniels, so but, back on TV, uh, we, we, we think it's yeah, Christopher Daniels. Barely, it might as, well have, yeah. might as well have been a stunt double. We didn't really see him turn around. He was a bald-headed fellow that laid somewhat like Christopher Daniels lays on the ground. <laughs> and so now, who's running this fucking thing? And we'll get to it in blood and guts. when they. Who's making the rules? Who's overruling the rule makers? And who's supposed to be in charge? Tony said it was Daniels, but Tony's still making matches. But Tony and Daniels will make a match in one segment and the next segment the heel EVPs are running around doing shit that in there. And Tony doesn't have any comment on it. They're not even saying, he's not even saying, I wish they wouldn't do that. Well, he's got a lot to deal with. There's been a crime in every segment so far. <laughs> there was the tire stabbing incident. MJF throwing away AEW's belt could be considered something. And then of course, destruction of private property. Obviously, uh, Christopher Daniels was given a lot of fentanyl or something. I don't know what the fuck happened to him there, but no one looked like they were sweating or worked up like they had hit him. There were no weapons anywhere. He was just laying on the ground that they stood around him. Like you would if you discovered someone laying on the ground. Hey, what's this guy yeah, doing but, there? Yeah, but see, here's the thing. If I discovered someone laying on the ground, I would have probably attempt to render them some kind of aid, or if I was the person responsible for them being on the ground, I'd probably exit to premises before the cops showed up, but... Not wait, not was, wait for the referee so you could do your coin flip? No, and if I was the person on the ground, when I came around, I would try to get up and leave. None of those things happened. Was it like one of those movies like where there's like some kind of potion in a fucking syringe and they just like jabbed him and he went down no now you're talking about some shit stain 
writing there remember abyss and dr stevie richards they i, I didn't watch that no i don't remember it what well no remember, they do I, read, that? I read the format oh that's oh, right the show here oh, I, I, I reiterate what i said i never saw it but he he left it blank as to what because he he couldn't find the substance that fit what he wanted so he just said well well they'll make something up 